Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my Through the Mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. A few weeks ago I was lucky enough to score some repacked wax which is packed full of fun TTM fuel. Nice variety of stuff here, lots of decent signers. Let's go with Leon Roberts. Mr. Roberts played from 1974 to 84 for Seattle, Kansas City, Texas, Houston, Detroit, and Toronto as an outfielder and DH. Blah, 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 blah. You can look that up anywhere. But did you know Leon Roberts was part of the infamous pirate clan Roberts, where his family terrorized the Great Lakes in the 60s and 70s? Zero to nonsense in about 30 seconds there. Okay, anyway, Lilypad Leon, as he was known, thought he was going to be a pirate all his life until he was about 13 when he had a change of heart. You see, pirates have an initiation ceremony at that age where they earn their eye patch. A young fledgling pirate gets stabbed in the eye with his own jackknife. Barbaric, I know. But it was the 60s and times were changing. Lilypad was torn. Senseless pirating was starting to lose its luster for the young buccaneer. Would he oblige centuries of tradition or does he turn his back on his family and make his own way in a more peaceful and civilized world? He went through with the ceremony. He lost much of his vision and earned his eye patch. You can imagine it was very traumatic. It soured him so much that when his clan embarked on a raiding party on the shores of Michigan, Lilypad Leon ran away. This new landlubber had two choices, the circus or the University of Michigan. Most of us would choose the circus, but Leon was afraid of clowns. Now, I don't want to lose my Ohio card, so I couldn't do any research into how he played baseball and football at U of M. Roberts was big and fast, but I can only assume he stunk because, you know, he played at Michigan. He was eventually drafted by the Detroit Tigers and ended up replacing the legendary Al Kaline in right field. All through his career, he had to hide his pirate upbringing and his poor vision. He cheated on vision tests during team physicals as to not get caught. And it leads one to wonder how amazing he could have been if he could actually see. He didn't have a bad career though, and he did manage to avoid playing for the Pirates. That would have been awkward. He did enjoy playing for the Mariners for a bit, as I've drawn him here. Mariners are obviously a lot more civilized than Pirates. Anyway, there's my doodle, 85 Donruss, and I found an 80 Tops lying around. Got the sticker on there. Let's pop it in the mailbox. Unseasonably cold here at my mailbox. Let's see what we got. As always, I told him he could keep the doodle. Nice, answered some questions. Kept the doodle, signed both cards in thin blue Sharpie, which might be my favorite. These look great. Uh, the questions. It was nerve wracking taking over for Al Kaline. His favorite artist is Vernon Wells. Vernon Wells Sr. is the father of Blue Jays baseball player Vernon Wells Jr. He's an accomplished sports artist and he did a lot of the upper deck cards in the 90s, so that's a great answer. But Mr. Roberts doesn't know who'd play him in the movie The One-Eyed Mariner, the Leon Roberts story. So thank you, Mr. Roberts. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Stay healthy, be kind, and enjoy your fourth. Josh Hartnett, maybe?